Okay guys, so welcome on the part 2 of how to make a virtual world series. I haven't uploaded, uploaded in like 2 weeks, sorry about that. I've been, uh, just started this channel up and I've been a little inactive, though, uh, I've been working on some projects on the side. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm not really sure, but, uh, my internet's been off all day. There's been a local problem, so I don't have inter and any internet today, so I'm probably gonna end up uploading this tomorrow. Uh, so you'll, you know, obviously you'll see this when it's uploaded, but, uh, just for some information. So just a little side note, um, when it gets time for the last tutorial, I'm going to be making, uh, the publishing tutorial. So how we're going to do it and how I'm going to show you guys two ways. I'm going to show you guys how to local host it using Hitachi. I think it's called. It's the name of the program that's for a local host streaming it. By the way, that will take a shitload of bandwidth and you will need like basically an unlimited plan and a pretty damn good computer to run the server or you can just pay i don't know about five to twenty bucks a month for a vps which is a virtual private server which i'll show you guys how to set up if i do end up getting one there are trials or whatever but you have to put in credit card information and personal information and it's just a bunch of bullshit so you might as well just go ahead Save up a couple of bucks and buy one. So anyways, uh, part two, we're going to be customizing the interface. Sorry about that little introduction. So we left off with setting up our server, and it's just the way we left it. So low, we're not really going to worry about that. We're not going to see those frames too much. That's really just for the code purposes. But we're going to take a look at the connect keyframes. So as you can see, we have the SmartFox server branding. We can say goodbye to that because our game is not going to be called Smart Box Server unless you want to promote them or something. I don't know. So, anyways, you will also see Avatar Chat example. You can keep that text and change the text to, I don't know, say you wanted to make the game uh, My World. Be a pretty stupid name, but if you like it, and you can uh, change the font and everything, I'm going to change the font because. This font looks like shit. I'm going to change it to... Ooh, that, that doesn't look good for a uh, game. Now you can download fonts from daffont.com. I have tons of custom fonts installed on here. Uh, I can use Bataboom. Yeah, increase the font size. Put a space. Okay. So now we you can customize that text, delete that branding. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to modify some of this. Uh, so, I don't like this background either, so, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to, why is my toolbox not open, that's so annoying, okay, let's see if I can dock it, oh, this is so annoying, oh, there we go, I was able to dock it, okay, so I'm just gonna fit this in window, so now, we are also gonna remove this, cause we don't really need that, you can just, uh, you can put your own, uh, trademarking down there if you want now so with this i'm going to make a new background what i'm going to do to do this is i'm going to use the rectangle tool so i'm going to draw a rectangle over the entire frame like so and as you can see it's covering the text or it's just that the text is the same color we won't know until we change the full color so you can use a solid color like green mm. oh paint bucket green or you can make it like, I don't know, blue or something. But I think a gradient color would do a much better look. You can do a rainbow, but that would look kind of weird. But I'm going to do a gradient color. So I'm going to pick gradient green because that looks pretty sick. So I'm going to put that right in the middle here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use this gradient green. And now I've got a new background. Now I'm also going to set this to the back. First, I'm going to convert it to a symbol. I'm going to name this BG, just so I can keep my clay, my tree nice and organized. And I'm going to arrange, send to back. Okay, what the hell happened to my text? Yeah, I don't really care about my text. I can just create a new one. Okay, so now that we've got that, we've got our custom background. And this is just for the login screen. Now for the login button, you can edit this. This is the clip in our library, so we can just double click at and double or, and edit it in place. 
I'm going to hit Control Plus to kind of zoom in right here so I can see what I'm looking at. So I can change this login text to play. I can change the font to whatever I want. I'm going to change it to... Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to pick a sample one for now. Uh... Nightclub BTN. That looks that's that looks pretty cool. Let's uh, put that right in the middle there. Uh oh, put that. Okay. Now we can also change our background color of this by using the fill color, and we can change it to gradient red. Or I'm just gonna use the pink bucket actually. Change it to gradient red. Okay. So there we go. So we're just gonna back out right here and uh, hit Control minus. I'm going to go back to fit the screen. Okay. So there is our play button. We can also make that a little bigger if we want to. I'm going to try to keep it to scale. So I'm going to make it... I'm going to increase each one by 10. So I'm going to make this 370. Actually, by by 20. And I'm going to make this 67. Oh, oh that was position. That was position. My mistake. I'm just going to make this uh, 79. And 38, 58. There we go. So there's our little play button. We can move that. We can do whatever we want with it. Now, this is the status text. You can delete this or whatever you want. Or actually, you should just move it off the screen because it's in the code. So it might give you a syntax error if you remove it. I'm just going to keep it. I'm also going to modify this because it doesn't look too cool. So I'm going to take our box... And I'm going to, um, let's see right here. See what I can do with our box. Um, we can make it bigger or smaller. We can make it stri striped, like a different uh, edge to it if you want to. You can do a ton of different stuff in the properties if you want to. I'm trying to do something else. Uh, it's not it's being bitch right now. I don't know why it's doing this. It shouldn't be doing this. Uh, whatever, I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay, so, and we can move our text right above it. And you can move stuff around and add different text. I'm going to add a text saying my world, just to show you guys an example. And I'm going to change that text to Badaboom again, because that's a pretty good font. I like it. Once again, you can find some fonts in the description below. I'll keep a Link in the description for you guys in case you are interested in trying to get some new fonts because the fonts that come with the computer default are pretty bad. I don't like them at all. So, yeah. All right, so there is our text. We can put it right there. And that's it for our frame. That's not centered. I'm just going to do this to make it perfectly centered. There we go. Perfectly centered. Okay, so it's a little off, like you can fix it if you want. I'm just doing this quick to show you guys. So anyways, we're off of that frame, and we are now going on to the play frame. So once again, we've got some more Smart Fox branding that we do not want, so we can just go ahead and delete that. Here, username text, okay, that shows you who you are. I'm pretty sure that you're going to know what your own username is. Uh... Yeah, so I'm just going to delete that. I actually moved out to the side once again. Like it's in tax errors. Okay, so room list. I'm going to do something with this later, but I do not want it on my frame right now. So I'm going to hit control. Oh, alt. What is it? Okay, I'm just going to move it all here. And modify it later. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to move it off to the side. And the same with the user list. Okay, Okay, so now I'm going to move this up a little bit since I deleted that empty space at the top. Now I can change this to whatever we want. I'm going to make it in my world. You can even delete that if you want. Uh, you can change the text. You can delete it, whatever you want to do. And you can remove these two little arrows. They're not really that cool. And delete this top thing in general. Yeah, I'm just going to delete that whole top thing. Okay, now I'm going to expand the size a little bit. Because we have a ton of space. And move it up a little bit. Here we are. Okay, I'm just going to move it down. 
Okay. And here's our little chat bar. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger as well. Maybe to there. Bring this over here. And we're going to make this bigger as well to fit with the thing. Okay. There we go. So there's our chat button and stuff. Once again, you can customize this text to say, um, uh, enter or whatever you want to put. I just put in that quickly. And once again, these two arrows are stupid. Don't like the arrows. They look really stupid. Okay, so there we go. And this tells you the current room that could be useful, so I'm just going to put that at the top. And that's pretty much it for customizing the interface. You can do whatever you want. Once again, I'm just showing you guys this for example. I'm going to go ahead and run the server. Not DAT. I'm just waiting for the server to start up. I don't know why it's taking so long, because I did run this before, so it shouldn't be recompiling all the files, but one, whatever. Okay, so we're just going to wait for the thing to start up. Okay, server ready, server ready. Okay. So we can go ahead and go to publish preview default. And as you, as you will see when it starts up, and here we are. I'm just going to delete this bandwidth meter. Where is it in here? Don't need that. Okay, so we can... Okay, that isn't good. That isn't good at all. I can't click over here, but I can click right there. Doesn't make much sense. But anyways, as you can see, our thing, like, you know what I mean, works. The thing works. It did what we wanted. We can run around and stuff, and it got rid of the stuff we wanted, and it's off the side, and you can't see it. Except for right here, but people using it won't be able to resize it like that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to see if I can fix that problem that I have in, on my frame right here. I think it's something to do with... Oh, it's because it's going over top of that property. And also, this text is sent to input text. And change that to static text. So if you put text on there, you're going to need to change it to static text. Or it will be editable, which is not what you want. So I can go ahead and publish it again, and it should work perfectly fine. Yep, we cannot edit this. We can type in here, and it works perfectly well. Now, in the next tutorial, uh, this one was a little short, actually. I'm going to check the exact time. 12 minutes, so it was a little long. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, some stuff you can do with the code. So basically, in the action script and the XML, if you guys don't know what that is and you're new to programming, that's okay. And I'll make it very simple and friendly for new users so they can understand it. And after that, I'll probably be showing rooms and stuff like that. So anyways, I'll see you guys uh, later in the next tutorial, and peace.